Hi guys, welcome to episode 22 of Best Mac Apps. Today I'll be showing you other 6 Best Mac Apps for November 2018. If you like the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when a new video is released. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. The first app on the list is called Photo Lima here. What this app does is that it allows you to make your photos look great automatically using AI or artificial intelligence. With this app, all you have to do is just drag and drop a raw photo in this app and then it will automatically do the magic by enhancing the overall look of the photo to look way better than before in a very fast and easy way. Let me show you an example here. You can see this a drag photos here. It's a part raw file, JPEG, TIFF, or PNG, and at least 800 by 600. You can just click open, and it will allow you to find where you store your photos. I store it on desktop here. This photo, click open. You see, it start automatically by itself. You don't have to do anything. Just wait for it. Okay. So you can see this is before. Now you see these after. You can see the shirt color, it just changed to look more natural. It's amazing, you don't have to do anything, just add a photo into it and it does the magic for you. It even say do magic. It's really awesome with this app. They give you one tool here to adjust the enhancement. This is the original, go back to where it does the magic for you. And then you can export it to Flickr, email, Facebook, Twitter, or just save it to your disk drive, clicking here. And the quality, you can leave it 85% or 100%. You can select where you saved and the format you want to save it into. And the name, just add test it at the end. Click save. Wait for it. It's exporting. Done. You can click your reveal and find her here. So here, test it. This is before. This is after. Okay, let's try another one. Let's start over. Let's try another one. Okay, it's kind of dark and now this you can see the original one look like it's not supposed to look like this but for some reason like you take a photo in low light condition it looks like this but with this app this is how it's supposed to look like just a little touch to it and the photo would look amazing I mean this app is lightweight and there's nothing you need to do with this you just drag and drop the photo and it, it will do the rest of the work for you okay this is app number one let's move on to app number two app number two is called vanilla here so when you open it for the first time you will be greeted with this simple settings the first option is you can see let me completely remove menu bar icons or automatically high icons again after five seconds or you can start vanilla when i log in you can even add the shortcut keyboard to use it quickly as well you can see this here that's the vanilla app so if i tick this after five seconds it will activate vanilla app here so if you close this you can see here all the icons are still there so how can we hide you can see this dot here on this section it's vanilla section that you can hide any icons on this side it will not hide so what you have to do is you have to click on the command key on your keyboard and it will you to drag to this side this section here so just drag it there drag as many as you want to any of these that you don't need drag it on this side and drag this one too this as well so let's say these are what I need the most you leave it like that after five seconds you see it activate by itself and it high and leave only the icons that you need the one that you don't need it's hidden you see this app it's just simple it's lightweight but it's really easy to use you just hide it quickly and it doesn't need much you just click on command key on your keyboard and then you can drag over to this section when you click here it will hide so that it make your menu bar look cleaner this is especially useful for those who have lots of apps installed in their Mac this is a great available of hiding icons of apps so that you don't make your menu bar look messy okay this is app number two let's move on to app number three app number three is called Lango here what this app does is that it allows you to prevent your Mac from falling asleep or your screen from dimming if you have used your Mac for a long time you may know another app which would function the same that app is called Amphetamine this app is very similar to that app in some situation you may not want your Mac to sleep because you may download some important files you don't want it to sleep or you may be doing something like you're cooking and then you still want to see the recipe on the Mac screen that would also be useful or you read something on your Mac you don't want it to 
dim or sleep that also would be good so with this app you just select the time you want like indefinitely or 10 minutes or 30 minutes up to eight hours just choose the one you want it to stay awake for and if you want more option you go to preference Currently, I tick on activate on left click, which means if I click on it, on this cup icon here, I left click. You see right now the cup is empty, which means it's deactivated. If you want it to activate, you just left click on it. See, now the cup is full, which means it's activated. You want it to be deactivated, left click again, empty, it means deactivated. If you right click on it, it will open the preferences. So when you activate this, you need to make sure that you also go to default duration because this part here, you see it doesn't tick any of these. It would automatically select indefinitely. So you need to go to default duration to change it to how long you want it to stay awake. Let's say one hour, left click, it will activate. And you can see duration is one hour it will activate for one hour after that it will go to sleep so with this you have more options and it's simple it's right there you can activate deactivate it right from your menu bar it's very convenient with that okay this is app number three let's move on to app number four app number four is called photo transfer wi-fi here you can see start transferring photos right here as its name suggests what this app does is that it allows you to transfer photos or even videos from your mac into your camera roll directly over wi-fi unfortunately with itunes it only allows you to transfer into photo library which means you cannot delete or modify any of those photos but with this app you can transfer it directly into camera roll so that you can edit or delete any of those conveniently and if you say hey we can do that as well by using air drop feature and it's free well guess what this app here is also free let me talk a little bit about airdrop and this app why this app is better than airdrop so with a small number of photos like less than 500 photos with airdrop feature here it works great however based on my personal experience if you want to transfer a large number of photos or when the photos exceed 500 it's just snapped it won't work of course you still see the transfer progress completed but when you go to check in your iphone or ipad you don't see those photos for some reason it just doesn't show up there's no new photos added to your camera roll that's what i have noticed after having tried to transfer so many times through airdrop and failed i'm not sure if you have the same problem but if you don't then you don't have to use this app you can use airdrop but if you have just like me this is the perfect app for you because it works extremely well and it is completely free you can download it for free from app store here so just search for photo transfer wi-fi here just download it and also you need to download this same app in your ios device from app store as well so both your mac and your iphone or ipad have to have the same app downloaded from app store after you're done downloading it because they say wi-fi which means both your mac and your iphone have to be connected to the same wi-fi otherwise it won't work so let me show you an example here if you take a look at my iphone screen i have to download that app as well from app store just type in photo transfer Wi-Fi it's here just download and just wait for it done so what you do is you open it on your iPhone click allow and wait for it to detect you can see on my Mac screen it detect automatically this is my iPhone 6s right here and on my iPhone you also can see my iPhone detect my Mac as well so I want to transfer from my Mac to my iPhone not my iPhone to my Mac so I have to click on my Mac here click on it you can see on my iPhone it say photo Wi-Fi would like to access your photo just click OK now what you have to do you can click upload here and find where you save the photo or you can just drag and drop it here same so before i upload i want to look at my iphone photo app first see what i have in my photo app these are the photo i have you can see now let's upload some photos i have some on my desktop let's select all of these click open and you can see this app loading just wait for it and on my iphone you can see the yellow circle around my mac it's transferring now done very quick very convenient now you click open at the bottom it will go directly into my camera roll click open you can see the photo here these are the new photo i have transferred 
and again like I said it's inside my camera roll which means I can delete any of these photo see you see deleted photo I uh, move to recently deleted album done see it's really convenient like I said earlier you can transfer as many photos as you want at a time more than 500 1000 2000 you can do that with this app it transfer all of those conveniently into your camera roll in your photo app okay this is app number four let's move on to app number five app number five is called permute here this is the look of the app what this app does is that it allows you to quickly and conveniently drag and drop multiple video files to convert them individually or at the same time into any video format you want most importantly this app is lightweight and its design is very user friendly so before i show you an example let's go to preferences first click general these are the settings that you can change of this app you can use dark mode as well here it will work great with mac os mojave as well and it says when done processing files play a sound or create permute or bounce icon so mostly you just leave it the way it is you don't have to do anything so what you have to do next is just drag a video and drop it here and convert so i have this mp4 file here drag and drop okay let's say i use this one as well drag and drop there are two of them you can also check the setting for each of it and now what video format you want it apple 4k ipad air let's say i converted for ipad air click there you can even stitch it together or leave it alone so once you're done you can click start here or you can just start individual conversion you click here it will start each of it so let's say it's tick here so start converting this see it convert multiple video files at the same time it's really awesome now it's done you can go and find it so it's on my extra here here the two new files it's very quick and convenient with this app let's say you want to convert 10 videos at the same time you do the same you can convert one by one or you just click on the play button to convert multiple video files at the same time this is really cool okay this is app number five let's move on to the last app of the list the last app of the list today is called forecast bar here this is the look of the app as its name suggests what this app does is that it allows you to view all the weather forecast information directly in the menu bar three or four days ahead of time like here four days ahead until wednesday next week you can see with very detailed information and graphs and of course you can use siri right here talk to siri and ask siri for the weather but for siri you need to activate it and talk to it and ask it and then it will take a little bit of time to show you the information but with this it's always right there it extract information and show you the temperature right there the temperature is right here you can see it you can check the weather quickly you don't have to do anything it just activate by itself automatically and also this app is lightweight and it's compact all the detailed information about the weather forecasts it just appear right there in your menu bar if you go to its settings here settings so you can also make some changes into it theme dark mode Again, it would work great with macOS Mojave. If you don't, you just keep it light. And you can customize the panel forecast summary. You can customize touch bar. If you have touch bar, like MacBook Pro touch bar, you can also customize it to show on the touch bar as well. And the general here, so the language you can change the language you are familiar with. And the unit, you can change it from Celsius here to the United States, Fahrenheit, miles per hour. You can also check this directly from your iOS device. You just download this app, the same thing called forecast bar on your iOS device like iPhone or iPad. So once you have it on your iPhone, it will sync and it shows the information on your iPhone. It's really cool. Okay, that's it guys. These are six best Mac apps for November. 2018 thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video